what's good youtube we are back again with another nba 2k22 next gen video and uh today we're attempting to make a Jokic build okay so hopefully this will be the best center build in nba 2k22 next gen and uh y'all let me know how y'all feel about it down below in the comment section but today we got a special one for you guys so if you guys enjoy videos like this or this type of content then please make sure to smash a like on the video and if you guys are new here and you guys have not seen my my latest and greatest videos and you guys want to see more then please make sure to smash the subscribe button and also ring that bell so you guys will be notified for all of our new content when it drops okay so we're going to go ahead and get straight into this build now of course you guys all know we have to create a center build now the center build is going to be able to shoot the mid-range shoot the three crazy passing okay crazy passing i make sure that this build can defend a little bit and also he's going to be playing like a post score so this build should be everything that you need in a pretty lit center build i in my opinion all right but for our position center hand we're gonna go right-handed and then jersey number is completely up to you now when it comes to our body settings i feel that unless you glitch this build I feel that seven feet would probably be the most ideal to get the stats that you want for a Jokic build. So th that is exactly what we went with, seven foot. And then for our weight, we did decide to go with 252 pounds. Our wingspan, we went with a seven foot wingspan just to get a little bit more shooting and a little bit more uh, ball handle. And I'll show you exactly why in a few seconds, but our body shape, we're gonna go with solid. And then we're going to continue now to choose our attributes our close shot is going to be a 91 we want to finish in the paint we want to be a threat when we have the ball in our hand and of course if you know you get doubled or whatever you can always pass out and we're going to have some badges to help our shooters around the perimeter so when it comes to our standing dunk we're going to go with an 86 and then our post control is going to be an 88. We had to sacrifice our driving dunk and our driving layup. So we're literally going to be post scores. And yeah, we're, we're literally going to be doing only standing layups and standing dunks. And then when it comes to our shooting, our mid range is going to be a 90 and our three ball is going to be an 84. Now this is more so of a park build in my opinion. So I didn't put anything on the free throw our pass accuracy is going to be a 92 giving us that uh that hall of fame break starter more more importantly we get that gold bullet passer and also that hall of fame post playmaker for you guys that don't use this badge it okay so i'm gonna read the description for you okay so when passing out of the post or after an offensive rebound receivers are giving a shot boost okay so yes we're going to be able to do that and uh yeah we, we're definitely going to be able to rebound so that badge is going to light up a lot so now our ball handle is going to be a 69 and then our speed is going to be a 44 our speed with ball will be a 44 giving us 21 playmaking badges now for defense i know Jokic isn't a scary defender but um for 2k purposes i wanted to make sure that we were somewhat legit in the paint we don't want to just be ran over i know we seven foot there's tons of glitch seven twos and seven threes out here so we want to be able to hold our own so our interior defense is going to be a 95 and then our block is going to be a 65 so we can get that um that intimidator and stuff so we get that intimidator on silver and then our rebound our offensive rebound will be a 90 and then our defensive rebound is also going to be a 90 and then for our physicals we went with a 62 speed acceleration will be a 58 our strength will be an 81 and then our vertical will be a 75 with a stamina of a 90 okay so at the end of it all we got 20 finishing 29 shooting 21 playmaking and 25 defensive so we're going to go ahead and continue with this build process and for our takeover you guys see we got the sharp we got playmaking we got glass and then we got post scoring so for the for in my opinion i feel that this build is going to be more dominant when we go with a double post shot daggers this is what i would go with 
and then we're going to go ahead and finish up and then you guys we have created a facilitating three level two way i don't think we've created one of these on the channel yet so i'm actually happy that we got something different so we're going to go ahead and test this build out real quick just to see what type of badges that we can actually get and um you guys will be free to go so when it comes to our finishing all right so unstrippable i feel like that's a must um let's see we can definitely put a little bit on our hook Jokic doesn't really posterize people but for 2k purposes i feel that this will definitely help us so we're gonna go with a silver um i know our standard dunks in 86 most of our damage is going to come from the post and of course when you get that post takeover you're going to be cheesy anyway and the post takeover i do believe when you get post takeover it helps you on interior defense as well so we're going to be kind of uh we're going to be kind of lit with that our strength is going to be at 81 so maybe a back down punisher if not we can definitely do grace under pressure this gives a boost to standing shots that happen close to the basket a lot of our shots will be standing shots so i'm thinking we go here and then maybe a maybe a fast twitch i'm thinking maybe fast twitch and then maybe a bronze post technician or post spin technician there we go and of course you guys probably have extra badges just laying around so i would definitely put some love on pro touch and whatnot but we're going to go to our shooting this build is going to be a one heck of a spot up so um yeah let, let me let me show you something real quick all right so a hot zone hunter we're going to go with gold this this dude is going to be able to spot up with the best of them it's going to be low-key a stretch big but also a post score sniper gold we're going to go with a maybe a lucky seven or silver for now of course if you wanted to to do the fade ace you can fade with this thing um let's see we can go with a we definitely could go with a green machine but i feel that set shooter would be kind of lit gives a, a shot boost after standing still before taking a jumper i mean we could go od with it and then put it on hall of fame that catch and shoot situation is going to be disgusting with this build so that that would definitely be lit we got a three ball of an 84 so i guess you could use limitless spot up gives a boost to the range that a player can effectively shoot standing threes i mean as a spot up we might actually go with this i'm not gonna lie either this or corner specialist we might do we might do corner specialist and then maybe limitless spot up and then probably put a bronze clutch shooter on low key low key all right this is what i'm feeling right now this is what i'm feeling right now y'all let me know if y'all would change anything of course if you have extra badges then of course you can go with the gold lucky seven i feel like a lot of these badges will change over time just because you know you're probably playing wreck or whatever but um yeah let's go to our playmaking real quick now the best part is about the playmaking badges of course we get the bullet passer and then we get the break starter but other than that we get glue hands man we get the glue hands and then we can put the um the post playmaker on and then we can go with the unpluckable we'll probably put we'll probably put break starter on gold just so we can get the unpluckable and then we can probably put the needle threader here and then we're lit with this all right there we go yeah i, I like how this looks way more okay there we go so that's our playmaking and then for our defensive we'll go with a intimidator of a silver rebound chaser a little bit of rim protector a little bit of chase down we'll go with a brick wall so we can pick and pop pick and roll um a gold worm could be nice maybe a gold box and then we could probably go I'll probably go here with it and then that's what we looking like for our defensive badges so y'all let me know what y'all feel about the build and also the badges down below in the comments please let me know 
how y'all feel about this Jokic build. I, I try, you know what I'm saying? I try. But um, yeah, definitely, you know, if you guys enjoy videos like this or if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like to let me know. And if you guys are new here and you want to see my content on your feed again, then make sure to smash the subscribe button and also ring that bell so you guys will be notified every time we drop a brand new video. But thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you all in the next one.